Hey everybody, it's your online singing coach. You know, anytime that I have someone sign up for my mailing list, they have to answer a question first. What is their number one obstacle with singing? This helps guide me in the content that I send out to my newsletter and I post on my blog. And I've had this one come up a few times and I just wanted to address it in a broad sense here. The response was, my voice hurts when I sing. So I think there's there's four possibilities for why your voice might be hurting while you're singing. I'm going to just break them down super fast in this video. The first reason is that you might be singing outside your range or outside your tessitura. What's the difference between range and tessitura? Range is your very lowest and very highest notes that you can hit. The tessitura is kind of your comfort zone. Um, you might be pushing your voice up too high or too low. Number two you might be singing too loud. Maybe the singers you look up to and love are singers with huge voices, somebody like Jennifer Hudson or Adele, but you don't have that same capacity just by the way you are built. You might want to sing loud and big, but your body just might not allow it. There is a difference too between projecting and getting a little shouty with your singing. So you might just need to take it down a level or two with the volume. Number three is that you might be singing in the wrong register. Quick breakdown of the registers. We have the chest voice, mix voice, head voice, and falsetto and or whistle range. The main place that this happens, especially where you will feel some pain, is that you're bringing up your chest voice, your full belt voice, up too high into a range that should definitely be mixed or transitioned over to your head voice. If you're feeling pain in your voice, I would play it safe and flip to head voice until you have mastered the art of the mixed voice. I'm going to throw this in real fast because I really believe in this. I have a very short and cheap course on my website about mixed voice. It's taught by a colleague of mine, Hilary Osterberg. She's an amazing singer and an amazing teacher, and I just love the way she teaches mixed voice, and that's why I had her do it on my website. That is why so many people go to voice lessons, is to figure out the mixed voice. The mixed voice is the savior for um, elimination of strain and pain. Very, very commonly, the case is that someone is pushing, 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 pushing that chest voice up too high into a range that should be mixed or transitioned over to head voice. And then the final reason, not to freak you out, but you might already have some vocal damage. The good news is that with most vocal damage, it can be fixed. It can require a vocal rest. It can require some vocal exercises, working with a speech therapist. And at the very worst, it might require surgery for a node or a polyp. But if you've been using bad technique in your singing for an extended period of time, or even in your speaking voice, if you notice pain, even when you're talking, I highly recommend going to an ear, nose, and throat doctor, uh, getting scoped, and having somebody take a look at your vocal cords. They'll, they'll be able to tell you if they're inflamed, if there's any growth on them, which can be caused from bad technique. And it could be something simple like acid reflux causing inflammation where you just might need to take a medication or some supplements or a change to your diet might take care of that inflammation to your vocal cords. Anyway, if you have any other questions about this topic or, or anything voice related, leave it in the comments or send me a DM on my website and I'll try to address it in one of these videos. Hope that helped and I'll see you next time.